Hello, I'm Dr. Sean Phelan, and we're here today to talk about uh, nutritional supplementation in our practice. There is a lot of questions about nutritional supplements and which ones to use and when, and we're only going to take one today. And that will be fish oil, because that's a very popular supplement right now. Why should we take it? Why should we not take it? How does it help us? If we look at the length of time that we've been consuming food on this planet as a species, and the millennium is represented by this dark line at the top of this board, it is really only the last 10,000 years that we've been eating agriculturally produced grains. Now before that we were hunter-gatherers. We consumed roots and tubers and berries and meat when we could bring it down, but otherwise there was no grains for us. When we developed it, it helped civilization become stationary. We could stay in one place. We didn't have to travel with the seasons and with, with the food. We could stay in one place, which helped us become civilized. The problem with that is that our gastrointestinal tracts have not caught up to the need to process these grains. What happens when we eat a lot of grains and pastas and baked goods? Those are essentially grains. And the grains produce something in our bodies called omega-6 fatty acids. Omega-6 fatty acids. Now, we should have some omega-6 fatty acids in our systems. We should not have an excessive amount of it. What we should have is a ratio of omega-3 fatty acids and omega-6 fatty acids, which is equivalent to about a one-to-one -one ratio. That's, that's what we are looking for. That's what our bodies need. The omega-3 fatty acids, we're used to hearing about that. We're used to hearing that we should eat our fish and our salmon to protect our heart with the omega-3 essential fatty acids, and that's true. So the ratio that we're looking for is right there, and that was the ratio that we had when we were hunter-gatherers for that millennium before we started producing the grains. Now our diets are very heavily laden in the grains, especially the American diet. And the reason why that's a problem is it pr does produce the omega-6 fatty acids in much higher ratios than we are supposed to be consuming. Now, if we look at the American diet, what we wind up seeing, instead of a one-to-one -one ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids, we can see as high as a 60-to-1 ratio. And that is a problem. The problem is the omega-6 fatty acid will produce arachidonic acid in our bodies. The arachidonic acid crosses our cell membranes and creates prostaglandins, which creates inflammation. Now let's spend a minute or two talking about what happens with the inflammation and all of this will lead us to the reason why we need to have fish oil. So the inflammation that we're talking about isn't just muscle inflammation, isn't just a stiff neck, isn't just tight muscles, but the inflammation is occurring on a cellular level in our bodies and it is driving diseases. It is, as we know, driving the heart disease. We've known that for years because they've been asking us to make sure that we eat enough omega-3 essential fatty acids usually in the form of eating fish. But it's also driving obesity, diabetes, hypertension, cancer, neurologic disorders, and many other conditions that this country, although it's one of the, the most wealthy countries on the planet, is leading the world in these diseases. So how do we stop this from happening in our systems? The first thing we need to do is to realize that we need to consume less grains we are safe to have about one to two servings of grains per day, and that's about it. If you are eating a bowl of cereal, followed up with a big lunch with uh, sandwich bread, followed up by, with uh, a bowl of bow tie pasta and garlic bread at the end of the day, then you're consuming an awful lot of omega-6 uh, fatty acids, creating arachidonic acid, creating inflammation, and running ratios, which is going to produce the diseases in you that uh, you will see in your ancestors. So if you saw a grandparent develop these diseases, this is what you are pushing yourself towards. What can we do about it? So now we'll come to the point where we talk about why it's important to take the fish oil. If you are going to consume grains, which most of us are, then one of the things we can do is take the fish oil because that is going to affect the production of the inflammation by the arachidonic acid. What happens is the EPA DHA, which is, the, which is the, uh, the fancy name for fish oil, is going to block the arachidonic acid conversion over to inflammation in, in the body by protecting 
the cell wall and reducing the amount of arachidonic acid that can be converted into prostaglandins, which can be converted into the inflammation. If you are going to consume grains, which most of us are, do it within limits and also take fish oil and take it in an amount that will allow us to protect the cell wall and block the arachidonic acid conversion to the inflammation. That's why we take fish oil. And not everyone is a candidate for it. Not every patient is, is going to be safe taking it. So do uh, speak with your physician before you do so. If you're interested in speaking with us about it, just go to our website and you can contact us personally. Thank you very much.